this is Crafty Mom with another FFG D DIY. Um, we're going to be doing little flower pots that look like bunnies have been digging in them. Um, two different sizes as we approach spring. Um, it feels like a nice spring day outside here. I don't know what kind of weather y'all have in your area. That's not to say it won't be cold in a few days because this is Memphis and it changes quite often. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we have to make the pom-pom that is the rabbit's bottom. Um, we've made pom-poms in other videos. This doesn't take long just to do a quick pom-pom. I'm going to do another brown. Um, had had some feedback um, from showing pictures to other people. We have just set up a Facebook group, Crafting with Crafty Mom, um, that will have pictures and different things of what we're doing, what's going on. Um, if you have questions, feel free to leave them there. I will see them, check them. Um, And of course, with these little small pom-poms, it doesn't take much to make them. So this one side's already halfway there to the pom-pom. Let's get this other side done. And you can get the pom-pom makers at any of your craft stores. Find them on Amazon. Um, I like the Clover brand best. They do have a knockoff brand on um, Amazon. They do have the Clover ones too. I just found that Clover ones seem to hold up the best. So if you're looking as this as being an investment into your crafting hobbies, you should go with the better. See, we have it all wound around the pom pom maker. Nip the edges. Like so. Like I said, there is the pom pom making video on our arts and craft uh, playlist on our YouTube channel. fingers this morning. Okay, here. Take her pom pom off. Okay. I'm just going to set it to the side for just a minute. And I'm going to cut out the rabbit's feet. Um, just been using felt. And you just cut off a big enough piece to be able to get two bunny feet. And so what I've been doing, this rectangle, and I'm folding it in half, and I'm just doing the bunny's feet freehand. Kind of think about a teardrop kind of shape. So you have two little paws. And always when I'm working with a paint pen, I always try to make sure if I'm painting, doing it on a surface, I have a piece of paper or some kind of scrap on your mat so you don't mess it up. And then just using the paint pen to put his little the bed of his little toe of his feet on there. Okay, like so. Set him over here to dry. And we're going to shape up our pom-pom. Kind of even it out. Kind of like giving it a haircut. Doesn't have to be a perfect ball. Um, I have seen this done with pom-poms. 
um, that you actually buy in the store. But I kind of like doing it myself because then I can control how big or how little the pom pom is. So trim off the excess on the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to take the clay pot. I have two different size clay pots, as you can tell. Um, just taking a green styrofoam ball and setting it down in the pot. That way you don't have to have as much um, frou frou fall, uh, brown, you know, you, whether you're using grass, um, moss. Um, we're using, this is a brown straw type material and it likes to expand just like anything else. I'm going to put a little glue on here just to kind of give it a place to sit. Something's making funny noises in our studio. Okay. Okay. Gotten your grass sitting on top. Close this. And now we're just going to put our little artificial flowers in here for and I've make it easier I have taken a needle use a plastic needle you could use a nail just anything to make it easier to get the flowers down in the holes just because these stems aren't the thickest or dirtiest and you can use any kind of flowers um, I'm kind of using pastels because it is, like I said, it's springtime. Trying to make us think that, yes, spring is definitely here. So we have your flowers on the back side. Take your little pom, take your pom pom that you've made. Kind of roll it, kind of get, make sure you haven't got any too many. I mean, you don't want it to be perfect. Never seen a a bunny that's you know absolutely perfect just put a little bit of glue and set it in your pot like so so there you have the bottom of the bunny then i use the half inch pom-poms again just a drop of glue and you put it on the bottom so you now have your little bottom and you remember we made our feet earlier. Um, and these, you're just going to put a little bit of glue on. I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, it has two different types of tips. You have the brush tip and you have the um, narrower tip too. I'm just using the broad tip. But... I'll show you this thing. You have the other end too. It's just a good all around glue. And you're going to take your feet. You're going to glue part of it to the pot and part of it to the bottom. That way they will, and then if your glue dries, you could do this with hot glue, but uh, it's tiny felt is thin you could burn your fingers easily but there is your finished product and you have your upside down bunny digging in a pot makes for a cute little spring time decoration hope everyone had a great time remember asking questions at crafting with crafty mom on our facebook group and have a great day see you next time